Good evening, good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Hey, hello. How is everything, miss? Welcome, welcome to the class. Let me see some people already connected and that's really nice. Thank you so much. How are you doing, Miss Lillian? Fine, teacher. How was your weekend? Better. Oh, amazing, amazing. How was your weekend? It was good. Mm-hmm. I I went to the beach with my family. Oh, okay. And uh -huh. it's good. It's good. Uh, it's spend time with the family. Uh, cool. That's uh -huh. amazing. That's amazing. That's really good. 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 Thank you. Sounds like a nice weekend, to be honest. Thank you so much. Let me see more people already connecting, and that's really nice. How how is everything for you, Miss Julia? I see Miss Julia. How are you doing, Miss? Good evening, teacher. I'm Hello. fine. You're fine. Perfect. 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 What about your weekend? It was so excited because I have two jobs. Uh, on weekend, I I sell bread because yeah. my my younger brother has mm -hmm. a has a business of bread. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, that's amazing. So, do you work on that Saturday and Sunday, or one, or only one day in the weekend? Only in the afternoon. Okay. Oh. All right. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. I have more people online, and thank you so much for your punctuality, people. How is everything? I see Miss Carla Alejandra. How are you doing, Miss? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. All right. How was your weekend? I in the weekend I, well, uh, in the Sunday I I had had worked. Mm -hmm. I I had um I don't know, remember the uh, capacitation training. I try. Thank you, teacher. I I try in the my job. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. I see more people. Uh, and what else did you do? <clears throat> did you do yeah. other activity? Mm -hmm. And no, no, only only that. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. But it's not the weekend, the <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> okay. That's amazing. That's amazing. Thank you so much. I have <laughs> more people already connected, and that's really nice. How are you doing, Miss Madeline? Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. How is I'm everything? Fine, Perfect. How um, was your weekend? Uh, weekend, I... <clears throat> I, I rest. Mm-hmm. I rested. I rested. Oh? I rested. And I I go I go I go at supermarket. I went. I went to the supermarket. I went, <laughs> sorry. I went I went to supermarket. All right, all right. All right, I understand. Thank you so much. I see more people online, and uh, as I mentioned, I really appreciate your presence to this session. Let me, let's go quickly, check on attendance, and we can begin on today's information. Let me see. I have Ana Cecilia Hernandez. It's Ana Cecilia, I believe. Not yet, so let's continue. Joaquin Ernesto Sanchez. Joaquin Nadiet, Edwin Vladimir Franco. Edwin Vladimir Franco, Edwin is driving, teacher. He's driving. 
Uh, he, yeah, he's the one from the text message. All right, I understand. Thank you. Thank you so much for the reminder. <clears throat> Sorry, Lilian Janet Torres. I'm here, teacher. Perfect, thank you. Julia Cecilia, I know you're here, Miss Julia. Teacher. Thank you. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Alejandra Maria Marroquín. Present, teacher. Amazing, thank you. Javier Alejandro Menjibar. I'm here. Perfect, thank you so much, mister. Then David Antonio Ramos. Present. Thank you, mister, and welcome to the class. Eh, Josue Francisco Orantes. Present. Thank you. Eh, Oscar Alberto Guardado. Oscar, Oscar. Not yet. Carla Alejandra Sanchez. Present, teacher. Amazing. Thank you so much. Ines Judith Mendez. Present, teacher. <clears throat> thank you, thank you. Madeline Stephanie. Present, teacher. Great, great, great. Thank you. Nestor Javier Merino. Present. Eh, Jessica Elisa Garcia. Miss Jessica Elisa. Not yet. Eh, Lizeth Beatriz Palma. Present. All right, thank you, thank you. Mercedes Alicia Alvarado. Present. All right, thank you. And Maria Jose Cordero. Present teacher. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for your confirmation to this class. Thank you so much. All right. Let's get started. Let's get into business. As you see, let me corroborate on this one on screen. So welcome all of you for today's session. Take a look at this one. What do you see on the screen, people? class number six yes exactly class number six thank you so much for that people today we begin on this information and today we start let's say a new week and we have pretty nice information for today <clears throat> let me see uh let's work on something uh Tell me, people, what unit are we working on today? Unit two. Unit number two, exactly. Unit number two. two. Exactly. Do you know the name of this unit, people? No. No. Don't worry. We are going to discover on this one. There is no problem. Take a look at this one. What's the name of this unit, people? Direction, direction, direction and, and instruction. instruction. Okay. Yay, we're, there we are. Thank you so much. Now, let's see on this one. Let's work on this one. And let me help you on this part, right? Check on pronunciation of this one. People will say, Directions, everybody. Direction. 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 And thank you. And the other will say instructions. Instructions. That's correct. We say instruction. Check on the pronunciation of this one. It is not instruct. It is not instruct. Uh -uh. It's like a combination. It's in between instructions. Instructions. Instruction. Mm -hmm. Exactly. There we are. Instructions. That's it. Perfect. Nicely done, people. Congrats on this one. To get the introduction of, of this topic, let me let's begin by having some practice and some information at this point. I'm going to give you a link and we get started on today's practice. Let me get it ready for you. We work individually. We work on this. this one. And let me copy the link to you. Okay, we're working on this information and I need your help to access to the practice that we have for the first 
part of the class. Click on this information and type in your name, please. Right? That is the way we're going to be working on. Access, type in your name. Thank you, thank you. I have more, some people already. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Keep it coming. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the people joining. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Let's keep it up. Remember your name and you, uh, you access and type in your name. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. I see more people. That's amazing. Thank you. Check the, the information in this moment. You can practice. At this moment, you are in, in the preview of this activity. So you can check on some vocabulary we are going to be using for this activity, all right? For the people who are inside, you can click and practice. Mientras los demás compañeros se incorporan a la práctica, los que ya lograron ingresar pueden practicar la información que tenemos por ahí en, en, le, en actividad. Tenemos como una sala de espera en la cual podemos practicar el vocabulario que vamos a utilizar. Así que mientras esperamos, we practice, we practice and we practice, all right? I give one more minute and then we begin. Let me see how many people I have. I have 14 people so far. Let me change screens, all right? 14 people and we are 18. We are about to get started. Thank you, thank you. Any more seconds. Thank you so much. All right, I explained to you what we do. Now, on your devices, you should have a pet, right? What is the pet you receive, people? Ve que cada uno recibió como una mascota. What's the pet you received? For me, I received a horse. Horse, thank you. Yes. Dolphin. Rhino. Dolphin. All right. Alpaca. Alpacas, Hangers. right? All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I have some bright rhinos, bears, right. pumas, tigers, dolphins, wolves, kangaroos, mustangs, alpacas, lynx, orcas, bald eagles, reindeers, and sea turtles. Those are the pets you have. And I explain what we do. You are going to see some pictures for this practice, and you are going to select the correct alternative based on the picture. So picture, select the name. Picture and select the name. That's all you do. So you can progress on this activity. To win this game, you need to have all answers perfect. All answers correct. If you make a mistake, it starts over, right? So it erases uh, your progress. Have you worked on this one before, people? ¿Ya han utilizado este website antes? ¿Ya lo han hecho alguna actividad acá? No. 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 All right. Perfect. No yet. So this will be your first time, right? Different from the previous one. So it's like a, this is for a competition, right? Try to do your best and try to get uh, correct answers, right? Este va a ser un tanto diferente, tal vez a otros eh, sitios que hemos utilizado o que ya hayan utilizado ustedes, en el cual usted puede ir respondiendo, termina el primero, el segundo, usted continúa su práctica. En este, todos vamos a trabajar en una competición, digamos, y para y finaliza el juego cuando la primera persona responde todas correctas. El primero que finaliza le da game over a los demás, ¿ok? Así que tiene que ser fast, ¿right? Si usted va en la pregunta 9 y se equivoca, la plataforma le borra el progreso y vuelve a iniciar de uno. So, perfect, perfect, perfect. Tiene que ser perfecto. 
So that's the practice about. But it will be a piece of cake for you. Are you ready for this? Yes, yes teacher. Yes. Let's yes. do it. Let's begin and good luck to everyone. Thank you so much. Let's begin. Good luck. Good luck, begin. You thank you, thank you so much. I have the first person. Take a look at your screens, people. Who's the winner? Nestor. 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 Check on the screen. Nestor. Thank yeah. you. And congratulations, Nestor. The second place is for the person with the orcas. Who had the orcas before? Oscar Guardado. Oscar Guardado. Thank you. Congrats. <laughs> and who had the rhinos? Me, Lilian. Lil, oh, congratulations. Oh, really? Congratulations. Thank you. That's good. Thank you so much. I believe some people incorporated just a uh, minutes later. So let's work on something. Let's play again. And for the people who are, let me see. Um, let me give me a second. All right, let's do one more time. I share other link and for the people who incorporated they can be part of the game one more time. Let me see a second time on this one. So I give the chance for people to incorporate. All right. Second round. I give this to you. And one more time to everyone. All right. So please access the link one more time. And then we go for a second round. We could have different places. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, 15 people already here. Thank you so much. Let's begin one more time. I create a game and check on your screens because you have different pets, right? Tienen diferentes mascotas. It changed, yes, right? Yes, yes. Ah, what did you get, yes. people? For me, Pumas. A Puma. Oxen. Oxen, yeah. thank you. Tire. All right, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ah, thank you. Thank you Please. so much. There are some cheetahs. Ostriches. Uh -huh. Ostriches. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Second round on this one. Remember, see the picture and select the correct answer. Your objective to be the first one. Right? One more time. And let's work on this one. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your time in the practice. 
Take a look at this one. Who's the winner for this activity today? And Cruz. And uh -huh. it's, it's for the kangaroos, but what's the name of the person? Maria Cordero. Maria Majo. Is the winner. Thank you. Thank you so much. The second place goes to the bears. Who has the bears as pets? Me, David. David, all right. Congrats, David. And what about the alligators? Me. Mr. Oh, congrats, congrats, congrats. And thank you so much, people for your time in the practice. Thank you so much on this one, all right? Coming back, you may exit the practice if you wish. There is no problem, right? Coming back to this one, and remember one more time, what's the name of this unit, people? Unit two. Uh, unit two. Direction. 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 And instruction. Direction and instruction. There we are. Correct. Instructions. Thank you so much. That's pretty much it. Thank you. Now, we have an objective. And let me ask one person to help us on this. Mr. Let me see. Mr. Joaquin, can I have your collaboration to read today's objective, please? Okay. We'll be... We will be able to tell the company's location using their is and their are. Thank you. Thank you so much. Something simple like this, right? That's what we practice with some expressions. Now, let's go on this part. Take a look at the illustration, people. And what place is that? What do you see? Restaurant. <clears throat> Restaurant, right? What about the rest? What do you see, people? Restaurant. Restaurant. What? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let me have some participation. Miss Lisette Palma. Hello, Lisette. <clears throat> Hello. Perfect. Tell me, what's your what's your favorite or one of your favorite restaurants? Uh, my favorite restaurant <laughs> is the food sushi. For example, Don Lee. All right. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Let me have other person participate. What about for you, Ana Cecilia? What is uh, a favorite restaurant for you? In my favorite restaurant mm -hmm. on Pizza Hut. Mm -hmm. In Lomo y Laguna. All right. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you so much. Let me have one more person participate. What about for you, Josue Francisco? Hello, hello, Josue Francisco. Hello, hello. Tell mm. me. Good evening. Thank you so much. Tell me, what's your favorite restaurant? My, my favorite restaurant is um, Papaya. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Last person to collaborate on this one. And what about for you, Nestor? What's your favorite restaurant? <clears throat> Mike Burger. Oh, all right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thanks for that. Now, let me see the next one. People, what do you see? <clears throat> Park. <clears throat> Thank I you. I see a restaurant teacher. The other are, are below, right? In the corner, oh, okay. we have restaurant, and the other is. Okay. <clears throat> a child. Uh, a child. The park. A child? It's the park. There is a park. The park. All right. Thank you so much. Tell me, what are some famous parks in your city? What are the names? Bicentenario. Bicentenario. Thank you. Cuscatlán. Cuscatlán. Thank you, Miss Lilian. Thank you. Café Talón. Thank you. Café Talón. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Balboa. Balboa. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. We have different parks around our city or around our neighborhoods sometimes. Take a look at the next one. What is that? Bank. 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 It's a bank. All right. Thank you so much. Let me have some people participate. Miss Ines Judith, how often do you go to the bank? Uh... I sometimes go to the bank 
to 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 per year. Two times? Two per year, yes. Uh, I, oh, right. Not not so often, I believe, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. I don't. I don't like go to the bank. I understand. I understand. Thank you. Thank you so much. What about you, Javier? Uh, Javier Alejandro, how often do you go to the bank? Um, rarely. <laughs> In this moment, rarely. All right. If, for example, in one month, how many times do you go? One time, two times, or zero times? Yeah. In this moment, uh, <clears throat> it's very hardly. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And general question for you people. If you have to, right? Because... The majority, we don't like to go to, to, to that one, right? The majority doesn't like to go to the bank. But if you need to, or if you have to go to the bank, what's the favorite bank to do any process that you need with the bank? What bank do you in go my, to? In my case, uh -huh. in my case is Cuscletan because it's near to my job. Mm -hmm. I visit that place um, maybe two times in the month. Oh. Maybe. All right. It's Thank near. You. It's more near. That's amazing. That's amazing. So because it's near, very convenient at the, at, at the same time. Thank you. I know Joaquin wants to participate. Joaquin, we go to you. Okay. I hate the band. But more, um, the the better bands for me is Credomatic. All right. And what do you like about that? The service, the people are polite or they, or they work fast? The service, the... the sorry. The, the system, uh -huh. really. Because the app uh, is very very good and um, the website is good and no uh, don't have uh, they have problem but they don't have problem with the uh with the book book service mm -hmm. and and uh, caso contrario pero no sé mm -hmm. cómo decir caso contrario um a banco agrícola have very 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 problem with both service mm -hmm. with that and the uh, website. So, Credomatic is better for me. All right. Thank you so much. In this case, you can use the expression like. For example, oh. you can say, uh, this bank doesn't have problems like the other bank. So, okay. in that case, you are making that, that contrast, right? This one is okay. But not like the other, right? It's possible to, to say like that one. Hmm? Thank you. I get your point. And what about the last illustration? What do you see, people? School. It's a school. School. Thank you so much. Mm. Tell me, what's the name of the best school in your city? The best school. I listen to you people. What's the best school? Christian school. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much, Julia. What about the rest? I don't know. Teacher. In the real life, maybe Alemana or Americana in El Salvador. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, Oscar. But I don't have, but I don't have money. <laughs> it's very expensive, maybe sixty hundred dollars for most. <clears throat> Probably. El probably. Colegio Español Padre uh -huh. Arupe. Is that a good one, Davi? Yes, I think I went mm -hmm. to play a game one time. All right. All right. All right. So everything was nice when you visited that place, yeah. I believe. 
<laughs> like nice, like people. <laughs> La cancha era mi colegio, no. <laughs> I may say it out. All right, now I understand the, about the space. Thank you so much. By the way, people, where did you study high school? High school. I studied in yeah. Santa Ana, teacher. In Santa Ana? In what place? In a school Are called you... uh, INSA. INSA. Uh, Nacional that's de Santa Ana. Santa Ana. That's, that's nice. All right. That's a good one, Oscar. What about the rest? Where did you study high school? In my For case, me? I studied in Chachopa, teacher. <laughs> in Chachopa, Madre. Now, what's the name? What's the name of the high school? Um, um, Ranulfo Castro. <laughs> All right. Oh. In my case, in uh -huh. el Inframor, el Central oh, de Señorita. Oh. After there, Oscar. It really. <laughs> es el mismo que el Inframor. Really. Inframor yes. es lo mismo. Is it the same? Okay. No, same? no. It's no. different. Oh. Inframor is Francisco Morales. Thomas Jefferson. Son Sonata. Sonata. Son Sonata, yes. right? Ah, me I too. Me too, Carla. Really? Yes. The yes. Best. yes, Thomas Jefferson. Amazing. Thank you. So you see, probably you were classmates in high school and you didn't know it. Ah, you started there, all right? That's amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. And the last one, people, take a look at this one. What's this? Office. office office it's the office thank you so much uh and i have one last question to get on this one can i have your collaboration let me see miss maria jose to read this question to your class yes teacher hmm? what place are near your office all right thank you so much maria jose choose one classmate to respond to this question <laughs> um, Carla Alejandra. All right, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, in my office on the work. Uh, in this, yeah, at work near uh, 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 near uh, your uh, work. Uh, other office. No, ah, in uh, this okay. case, what places are near your work? Hmm. Mm. The restaurant. All right. You have a restaurant yes. near your near, near your near your work. Yes, because I the office in mm -hmm. in the what in the plan meal plan in mm -hmm. the near only restaurant because is the what do you say porque saltepeque entre o pico. You can say near que saltepeque. Or, or if you want like a point of reference between, and you mention the places. Ah, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So, that's a place uh, near uh, my office is restaurant because my office is between um, Quesaltepeque mm -hmm. uh, and Apopi. All right, thank you. Thank you so much, Miss Carla, choose other person to participate, please. So the person can respond to this question. Okay. Uh, I choose um, Ana Cecilia. All right. Thank you so much. Miss Ana Cecilia, tell us about this. Uh, hello, good evening. And uh, in place or on my office, is uh, Metro Centro San Salvador. All right. The mall is near your office. Yes, and the restaurant Clavo y Canela. Oh, all right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ana okay. Cecilia, choose other classmate to respond, please. Okay, and I choose um, Oscar. Oscar, thank you so much, Mr. Oscar. Tell us about it. Teacher, I'm cooking. Can you repeat the question? Oh, amazing. What are you cooking? We're hungry. Uh, 
queso con tortilla. No me... Eh... Delicious, my eh, friend, eh, delicious. How do you say, how do you say frijoles fritos? Okay. Really delicious. <laughs> how do you say frijoles fritos, teacher? How? Fried. Fried, fried beans. Fried beans. Fried beans. beans, okay. Fried beans, I am cooking fried beans. Can you repeat the question, please? All right, no problem, no problem. Ana Cecilia, can you repeat the question to Oscar, please? What place are near your office? Uh, near your, my office, uh, uh, Metro Centro Lo Bordes, do you know mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. Metro Centro Lo Bordes, Pasatempo Lo Bordes, Encuentro Lo Bordes. <laughs> uh, there are uh, a lot of, of malls in the in in, in, in la zona in that, in, that place. in the in the area in the area in the area there are a lot of almost mm -hmm. all right all right thank you thank you so much for that perfect 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 now let's continue with the next part of this practice thank you so much there is a practice that you can find on your book Take a look at this uh, slide and take a look at the reference. In what page can you find this conversation, people? Page number. What is the 19. reference on your book? Uh -huh. Page 19. 19. Exactly. Page 19. That's correct. Thank you. Thank you so much. And now take a look at this one. We also have some information like this. What is the instruction for this practice, people? Can we read together? Listen. Listen to your teacher. The conversation. conversation. The practice with a partner. partner. Exactly. That's what we do at this point, right? We have some conversation practice. And this is how it goes, right? Let me see. Listen to this info and we work together on pronunciation and also in vocabulary. The conversation goes like this. My name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Orson. I work for Hodge. Oh, I know that company. There is an office in San Salvador downtown. Yes, we are growing. So there are not many branches in the country yet. There are there are few. What company do you work for? I work for Echo, the painting company. There are 25 branches in the country. That's great. I visited one of the stores the other day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. We are planning on launching one in Santana these days. There isn't one yet. Check on this one. Second time, listen to this. My name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Orson. I work for Hot. Oh, I know that company. There is an office in San Salvador downtown. Yes, we're growing. So there are not many branches in the country yet. There are a few. There are few. What company do you work for? I work for Echo, the painting company. There are 25 branches in the country. That's great. I visited one of the stores the other day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. We're planning on launching one in Santa Ana these days. There isn't one yet. Okay, that was the second time people in this conversation. Pretty easy, you know, uh, and, and we do it very fluently and that's how we're going to be practicing. But before we go to the real, uh, for you in, in the interaction, tell me, is there any new word for you in this part? Something that I can help you with? Branches. I suppose that um, branches in sucursales. All right, all right, thank you. Yes, yes, that's correct. When we talk about the information of branches, yes, all right? A branch is, a, let's say, a subdivision or a smaller uh, store or a smaller office that depends from the principal, right? How do you call the principal office? Do you know that one, people? How do you call? Oh. This is, we have the main office, 
And let's say like the secondary offices. Like super silent. Ah, uh, exactly. That's the one. Or representing offices. Let's let's call it like those. We have two. The secondary offices or the representatives offices, we call them. How do we call them, people? Check check on this. We call them branches. 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 Exactly. For example, in Santana, because uh, I live in Santana, I have a branch from La Curacao. It's not the principal, but I have one here, right? I have probably, uh, let me see. I have a bank, right? For example, Agricola and all of them, they are branches, but the principal office is not in Santa Ana. It is probably in San Salvador. How do you call the main office? Do you know that? Does anybody know? No. No problem, I help you. You call it like this, head. Headquarter, that is how you call it. The headquarter is the principal office. The other are just subdivisions, let's say, or representing offices, right? That is the branches, but the headquarter is like that. Tell me, working on this information, do you work in a branch of your company or do you work in the headquarter, the principal office for your work? Headquarters. In the headquarters for Julia, right? Thank you so much. What about you? Headquarters. Headquarters, Head, all right. Headquarters. All right. Headquarters. Oh, but, mm -hmm. but. Tell me, in like... in both. Oh, interesting. Two places. Thank you. Tell me, miss. Uh, in, in my case, I work in the secondary uh, company. <laughs> really? Yes. All right, thank you. What because do you work? In Supertex. Supertex. Is it in Chalchuapa? Yeah. Oh, all right. And where is the headquarter? Where is the principal office? The uh, is is the Colombia. In Colombia. Yeah. Oh, all right. So that it could ha it could be that the headquarters is in El Salvador or international as Madeline, right? The yeah. principal office is in Colombia, and this is a branch, right? That is like a subdivision, or it could be other office or other similar plant, but not the principal, right? Thank you. Okay. Nice one, nice one. Thank you so much. Let me have more people participating. What about you, Mercedes Alicia? Do you work in the headquarter or in a branch? Hi. Uh, what is what is the difference? The difference is the headquarter is the principal office, right? Mm. And a branch is a subdivision. It's the same company, but it's like a subdivision of the okay, principal. Uh, <clears throat> okay, thank you. I work a uh, headquarter. In the headquarters, all right? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. All right, so coming back to this one, people, we have the info. The, now we know the difference between branches and headquarters. Now, tell me, how many branches does the company, uh, let me see, how many branches does Orson's, Orson's company have? Does it say? Not many. Not many, exactly, right, not many. And what about Tom's offices or Tom's work? How many branches are 25. there? 25. 25, right? There are 25 branches, a lot, a lot, right? Thank you, thank you so much. Now, going, uh, going back to more information on this, do you have any other question for vocabulary on this one? Questions, vocabulary or pronunciation? Uh -huh. Few. No problem, no problem. In this one, let me get my annotations ready. There is a few. 
there are there are a few. There are a few, all right? In this case, when you say few, let's say uh, unacceptable quantity. We're talking about quantity, right? It is not, like, not too much, right? Or not, not, uh, let, let me put it in other words, right? Not a big or small quantity, right? When you say few, it's similar to say, ah, not a lot, not a little, right? Not a big, a small, not a big or a small quantity. That is like acceptable, like similar to say some. Me sin algunas, there are few. O pocas, más o menos. There are, there are a few. Hay pocas. That is what the person is saying. Well, could be like some acceptable quantity, right? Not, not, a, not a lot, not little. That is what uh, the person says over there. There are a few. Any other vocabulary word, people, on this part? Teacher. What tell is me, the name, teacher? The teacher, the Let me see. Downtown, no problem. Downtown. Downtown is the center of the city, right? When you talk about downtown, you're talking about the central part of the city. There is usually the central park. There is usually uh, the city hall and uh, many other places that are very, very representative for a city, right? Uh, was there any other question about meaning people? <clears throat> Um, hmm? where, where, what is the meaning the wording? Uh, let me see. In this one, in what participation is that means? Uh, awesome. Yes, awesome. we're working. Ah, I get it. Like this one, growing in pronunciation, well, right? Okay. To be more, or to in. Increase in size, let's say, or number. When you say the word grow, it's like to be more or to increase, right? The size or the number, to be bigger, right? That is what the person, hey, we're growing. We are more, we have more branches, more, more, and more. So the process is to be uh, bigger, right? Or to have more, similar okay. to him. Similar to human people. When we have two years, when we are two years old, we are babies. When we are 10, we grow, right? We are bigger. Plants and everything. It's possible to use this one to represent the, the process of being bigger or having more of something. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. All right, my pleasure, my pleasure. Any other people? Me, teacher, what is the pronunciation of low shin? Ah, uh, and... mm -hmm. Let me see on this one. Let me change the color of this and then I help you on that one. Give me a second. I put it in, put it in black better. Then we have the next one. Pronunciation. Launching, launching. Mm -hmm. That is Thank uh, you. So talking about the pronunciation, launching, right? They are going to reveal that to the public, right? So people know about something. Mm -hmm. That's the meaning of this. Now, uh, are you ready for practice, people? Hello, hello. Ready for practice? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Yeah, yes. Teacher. Yes. Teacher. All right. Say Thank ready. You, so. Thank you. Let's do something. I am going to create small groups and I will uh, have you work in groups of three, right? Working trios. And the idea is to have the participation and to read the conversation and alternate. One person is Tom, the other person is Arson. You participate. Then you rotate, incorporate the other person and you can participate on this conversation so you have some interaction with your classmates. Remember 
when we have some expressions, go for intonation, right? Like, oh, I know that company. Remember intonation, right? That's great. Okay. Don't forget about intonation. And I will be working with you, helping you if necessary. At this moment, participation in, in, in groups, read and practice that conversation. I'll give you eight minutes for this activity. So you have a good time to participate and I can check on how you are doing. Ready to begin? Hello, hello, ready, ready? Yes, yes teacher. Yes, teacher. Let, let's do it. Thank you. Thank you so much.
Ah, okay. Okay, okay. that's great. <laughs> that's great. I visited one of this story the other day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. We are planning on launching one in Santa Ana this day. There isn't one yet. Okay. Now, you, you Maria, Jose. Maria Jose. Oh, I, I, I know that company. There is an office in San Salvador downtown. Downtown. Yes. Uh, we are growing, so there are not many branch in the country yet. There are a few. What company do you work for? I work for Echo, the painting company. There are 25 branches in the country. That's great. I visited one of the stores on order day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. We are planning a launching. Sorry, we are planning a launching one Santa Ana this day. There isn't now. There isn't one yet. Okay. Okay. We are mm -hmm. finished. I am answer. I work for Hodges. Oh, I know that company. There is. An office in San Salvador downtown. Yes, we're grow growing, so there are not many branches in the country yet. There are few. What what company do you work for? I work for Eco, the painting company. There are 25 branches in the country. That's great. I visited one the one of the stores the other day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. We are planning or launching one in Santa Ana this day. There isn't one yet. Okay, again. Um, you told me or something. Okay. My name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Orison. I work for Hodge. Oh, I know that company. There is an office in San Salvador town. Yes. We're growing. So there are not many branches in the country yet. There are few. What company do you work for? Hello, hello. How is everything? All right, all right. Everything's nice. Coming back to the main room. Thank you so much. All right, thank you so much, people, and welcome back to the main session. Tell me, did you participate a lot with your classmates? Or not so much? Hello, hello. Let me see some people. Javier, what about you? Did you practice with your classmates, Javier?
Hello, hello. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you do? Yeah. All right, thank you so much. What about the rest of you people? Did you participate? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. All right, that's amazing. Thank you so much. And congrats for your time in the practice. Thank you so much. Now, quickly, let's go for a group practice on this one. What is the practice about? Comprehension. 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 Exactly, it's about comprehension. Thank you so much. Take a look at this one. We, what do we do at this point, people? We feel in the blanks. Fill in, in the, the blanks, blank. the conflict, the following. the following sentences. Exactly, following sentences. Now, take a look at number one. Let's read together and incorporate the necessary element. There. There are, are, there are three offices in San Salvador. Okay, thank you. Let me check on this one. Exactly. There I, are. Uh, oh, Mary. I, I, the next I, one. Let's go. Uh, you are so fast. You are so fast. Thank you, Tisha. No problem. I was helping you. I was helping you. The Can next one, please. Thanks, Anise. Sorry. There. There is. There is one. There is. There is one. There is one. There, is one. there we are. Thank you so much. And what about the last one? Well, there are not any office. There is? There are, there are not there are any office in this region. In yet. this region, yet. Check on this one. We say is or are? Are. 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 There. That's it. That's it. Thank you so much. We work on this one. Let me help you. Um, Let me see pronunciation in this word we say region 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 exactly region. thank you so much thank you thank you now after working successfully on this part let me show you uh something that i have for you and we work on some quick information on this just give me a second so i can get it ready for you Make a transition, a transition from screen, and change on this, this. I believe we are there. Do you see my new screen, people? Yes. 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 All right. Perfect. Thank you so much. Let's watch a short video about some info, and then we have some feedback as a class. Take a look at this one, people. Is or there are. There is or there are is a common phrase in English used to indicate that something exists or is in a certain location. The main subject follows the verb when there is or there are is used. There is an apple on the table. Other forms of be can also be used with there is or there are. There will be a party at Bill's house on Saturday. There were four witnesses at the crime scene. There have been two robberies in the last five months. Contractions are possible, but they are mostly used informally in speech. There's a fly in my soup. There are plenty of oranges left. There will be a lot of people in attendance. Theirs is by far the most common contraction, and it is sometimes used inadvertently with plural subjects by native speakers. There's ten people outside. Common mistakes. Since the expression there is or there are usually has no equivalent in other languages, students sometimes use have instead.
All right, check on this one. There is some information about the use. Sometimes for the language, we tend to use a structure that is not so good, right? Take a look at the first one we have and the one that is incorrect, right? This one right, is not good, right? Because probably for Spanish, we sometimes could say like this one, have a lot of food on the table, but it should not be like that because the expression uh, is not the best one. The other one for this one, is not correct, the other is not correct, right? But what is the best expression, people? And check the one that, that is valid. What do we say? There is a lot there of food is. on the table. Exactly, there is a lot of food on the table. That is something valid that we can say on this info. And take a look at this one. What is the use of this one? What do we express with the expression? We express something exists. That something exists. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So if you want to make reference that something exists, you can use these expressions. Let me take a look at this one and let me go back to my book so I can give you more information, right? This is what you have on your books, right? To state or to indicate that something exists. What is, uh, people, the expression for singular elements? Take a look at your there screen. Is. 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 There is. There is. Perfect, perfect. For singular elements, we say there is. Perfect. And when something is plural, we say? There are. Exactly. The, that's amazing. That's amazing. So in this case, we need to pay attention to the second part of the sentence. Because we can have a singular or we can have a plural element. Let me go for a quick exercise with you just to double check on this info. Let me get this one. For example, if I say in this one and I want to talk about that parks exist, how is the correct expression? There is or there are? There are. there are. Not right? Yeah, because we have. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. What about if I want to say, uh, let me see, school? What there is the is, there, is, there is. Like this one? Ah, uh, school. Yeah. Ah, uh, uh, thank school. you. Ah, uh, thank you. That's correct. That's correct. Don't it's forget school. about something. There is. A school, right? There is a school. Thank you so much. And what about on something? Let's see. Imagine this one. Just to give you an idea. For example, zero, right? Nothing. Zero banks. Right? Nothing. How can I express this one in the negative form? There aren't. There aren't? Uh-huh. Any bank. It's Any possible. Bank. Exactly. When we have a negative uh, expression, it is possible to accompany this with any, right? To say nothing, zero. There, are, there aren't any, and let me make it plural, All right? There aren't any banks. It is possible to express by like that one. Let me give you the last one to work as a, a, as a group, All right? Imagine I want to say, let's see, Zero. Uh, let me see. Zero. Uh, zero hospitals. Right. Nothing. Hospital. Right. In the singular form. How do we say this one? There is, there is any hospital. There is. Right. An, there, there is, is an, an, There is an, a hospital. It mm -hmm. is possible to go like uh -huh. this one, right? 
it is possible. There isn't, let me make this one bigger. There isn't a hospital. There isn't any hospital. Two alternatives are okay, right? Two alternatives are fine. But if you see, it is not possible to make a combination. A any, they don't go together. It is one alternative or the other. There is a hospital. There isn't any hospital. The last version in this one. Do you know there is other expression to work on this? Let me help you on this one. It is possible to say there is no hospital. That is other expression that is value. There is no hospital. But pay attention that this is a little bit different because we are not using the negative word not. We are ex it's like a combination of affirmative. There is no hospital. So it is possible to express this idea uh, to make a negative sentence, right? Different forms and different things, how to work on this one. Now, let's work together before we go to a practice. Uh, let me copy this one over the chat so we can have some backup about this information I'm talking about. I need your collaboration, please, to quickly think about things that are near your work. There is, there are, let me go for the negative. There isn't. There aren't. Let's work quickly on this information. You can choose, and everybody will participate at this point, all right? You can choose either affirmative, negative, singular, or plural for this one. Think about your work and try to make a description. Remember the objective to tell the places. For example, in my case, near my, near my work, there isn't a park, right? There isn't a park near my job. What about for you? Let me see, Miss Madeline, what can you tell us about your work? Um, near my work is, mm -hmm. there, there is. Uh -huh, there is, uh-huh. There is a bakery. A bakery, all right. Thank you so much. Madeline, choose other classmates so they can participate. Uh, um, I choose a living. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Um, there isn't charge. There isn't church. a church. A, a church. church. All right. Thank you. Okay. There isn't Lilia. a church. Thank you. Choose other person, Lilia. Uh, I choose uh, Oscar. Probably Oscar is not available. Can you choose other person, please? Okay, David. Thank you. Um. Uh... In my job, mm -hmm. it's near, uh, there is a barbershop. Oh, there is a barbershop? Mm -hmm. Yes, and there are a lot of restaurants. restaurants. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, David. Let me choose more people to participate. Josue, what can you tell us about your uh, about the the places near your job? Josue, Josue, hello, hello. Yes, hello, hello. Um, uh... There is a uh, work for one more time. There is a work. There is a work. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Let me have two more people participate. What about for you, Nestor? What can you tell us about your work? What is near your work? There is a bank. All right. There is a bank, all right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Final person, Anna Cecilia, what can you tell us? No <coughs> teacher. Mira, no se va a tener algo. For my office. Yeah, near your work, correct. And I need to work and so, um, I don't know. Um, What's there? There is a, or there are? Is, there is. Uh -huh. And my work is, there is a, a clinic, the clinic allergy and um, there is a, a one office in San Salvador. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, thank you. Thank you so much, thank you, thank you. All right, that's the idea, people, of this one. Now, take a look at this part, second one. We have, what do we have, people? Take a look at the lower part of the presentation. What do we do? Practice. Yes, thank you so much. We have a practice at this moment. And let me copy that information to you. Okay, this is the one. And I copy the same link over the WhatsApp group and over the chat on this video conference. At this moment, we're going to work individually on this practice. Take a look at this one. It is about choosing information. Let's work together in the first one. How do we complete? There is or there are? There are. There Why? are. Why there two are, people? Bedroom. Because two bedrooms. Because it's plural. It's plural, exactly. There are. So you mark you press or you make your selection about the correct alternative. That is how you work in the first one. The other ones are questions, but the only difference is the position of the verb to be, right? but the same info. If something is plural, choose are. Something is singular, choose is. When you complete this one, we go for the negative section and you do the same. And in the last one, we are going to be working with some articles for singular elements. Take a look at the first one, people. We say uh, the word or the vocabulary word, chairs. chairs. All right, exactly, chairs. chairs. Yes. What should be the correct alternative to accompany this one? Do we say a uh, chairs? And chairs some or some chairs? chairs. Some, some chairs. Some chairs. And why do you say some chairs? Uh -huh. It's plural. plural. Correct, correct, correct. When you say a uh, or an, you are talking for it's something for singular. in singular. Exactly. Singular elements, right? Singular elements. Some is for plural elements. That's why for chairs, like this one, we need a plural element, some chairs. That's what you need to do, people. Then you go for the next one, sofa. What's the correct one? Some sofa and sofa uh, or uh, a? Uh, a sofa. Uh, sofa. Uh, all right, a uh, sofa, all right? Thank you. That's what you do. So I need your collaboration, please to work on this exercise individually and at this moment, just to double check uh, 
how well we understand everything. And when you complete this part, click on finish, check my answers, and please send your score, right, to the WhatsApp group just to check how well you're doing. I already have the first participation from Javier. Thank you, Javier. Piece of cake, my friend. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. All right, thank you. That's amazing. Thank you so much. I'll give some time. I believe three minutes is more than enough for people to finish on this one. So we check on this one in three minutes. So let's work together and individually. Thank you so much. Two more minutes for the practice. Thank you so much. Thirty seconds. Thank you so much for your responses.
Thank you, thank you. I see some responses over the chat. Thank you so much. Let me see. I have Javier. I have Miss David, Mr. David, Miss Julia. All right, Nestor. Thank you so much. I have Edwin. I have Judith. Thank you so much. Miss Palma. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Amazing. Good one. Congratulations, people. Thank you so much for that. Let me have one more practice in this one. And let's work together on this exercise. Thank you so much for the people who participated in the practice. Now, before we we have two more activities and let me explain the next one to you. Take a look at this information. What do we say, people? What is the instruction at this moment? Read. The, the sentences. sentences. Find the mistake and correct. Correct. And correct, correct it. Yeah, exactly. Correct it. So at this moment, let's work together, people, to see how well we do on this exercise. Take a look at the first one. Let's read first. Let's read the information. Please, everybody, there. There is, is two, two branches, branches in El Salvador. All right. Thank you so much. And this one, is this correct, people? No. No. It's correct. It's, it's not correct. It's not. All right. So how do we fix it? There, there are two branches, there are are two branches in El Salvador. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you so much. All right, thank you so much. Let's go for the second one. Let First, let's read. Everybody, there. There are one facilities available. Check on this one, pronunciation, available. 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 Exactly, available. available. Thank you, thank you so much. So let's work on this one. How do we fix it? There it's is. Incorrect. There it, is. Yeah. There is. Uh -huh. Tell me. There, there is one, one facility, facility available. Like uh, this one, people? Uh, no, teacher. No. There are some facilities. Some facilities. Because oh, it's plural. Uh, one is not correct. We need to type some. Oh, thank you, Julia. There are so, so what is the what is the plural element according to you, Miss Julia? Facilities. Ah, exactly. Thank you so much. In this one, we have some plural. Let me go back to this one. We have uh, some elements that are plural. For example, facilities. Facilities is plural. For that reason, can we say there is facilities? Singular no, and plural? It's not no, no, exactly. It shouldn't be like that. The best one is to transform this one to plural. There are, instead of one, we change it, say, what do we change? We say some or any. Um, any, no, any should be in for negative, case, some, some. Uh -huh. some should be the negative. best one, exactly. There are some facilities available, thank you so much. What about number three? Let's read together. We say there is, there is, there a, new is office. a new office. A new office or new offices, according to the new offices. 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 Thank, thank you. you so much, perfect. And how do we fix it? There are there are, there are, there are some offices. There are some offices. offices. Exactly. Thank you so much. What is other alternative to make a correction? Let's play with the info. How do we fix it in other form to make it singular? There is a new office. Thank you. Exactly. Two different forms to fix it, right? Check on that one, nicely done. Let's work on the next one. Let's read first. There. 
There are not our materials to, to work. work. Okay. There are is, not. Is this is this the correct order, people? No. No, 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 no. no. How do we say it? Huh? There, there are not. Aren't. There are. There are mm -hmm. material to work. Thank you. Me. You think you? Or if you want there the full form, uh huh. Many. It could be other alternatives. Material. Other alternatives? Why not? Thank you so much. That could be other alternative. Or if you want to go for the negative, any, it is possible as well, right? Like this one. Other alternative. Thank you so much. What about the last one? Let's read together. There is. There is, there is no free boxes in the lobby. The lobby. Look there in the lobby. Aren't. And, uh -huh, thank you. How do we fix it? There. There are uh -huh. three boxes, in, boxes the in the lobby. The lobby. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for that. Check on this information. And then we have all the ex exercise in a good form. We made corrections on this. Tell me, is there any question about this info so far, about this exercise? Questions, questions? Questions, questions. Hello, hello. No. All right. I get it. Everything clear so far. Okay, no problem. Let's work on the next exercise in which you are going to show how well you understand this information. Let me go back to my presentation. And we go for the final activity. What does what does it say, people? What do we do? It's speaking in group. Thank you. That's correct. We have speaking in groups. And what is the question? Let me have some people participate. Mr. Joaquin, what is what is the instruction? Can you read it, please? Ask. Ask your classmate what place are near their work and house. Exactly. Thank you so much. And how do we ask this one, people? What is a question to ask for this information? What places are what? near? Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you. They work in house. Exactly. What places are near? Your and then you can have a compliment on this one, right? What places are near your house? What places are near your work? And then you report information. Remember to incorporate and to use that complete structure. There is, there are for plural elements. And remember to report negative sentences as well. There is no problem. You say, hey, there isn't a mall near my house. There isn't a barber shop near my house. There isn't a restaurant, but there are many stores. There are some uh, bakeries. You express ideas like that, and then you report some information about the different places. If we, if we remember the objective is to express and to report places near our work and we incorporate as well near our house. Are we ready for the practice, people? Yes. yes. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Let's do it then. Let me create the groups, different people working together and we report as much information as possible. Thank you so much and let's begin. And I will be checking uh, checking on you to see how you're doing. Thank you.
Uh, only that. What about you, Davy? Okay. Um, in my house, mm -hmm. there is a gas station. And there is a supermarket, super selector. Okay. And there are... You were at home, really? Yes, I work. Ah, okay. From okay. And there are, um, how do you say, carnitas? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. There are a restaurant. some restaurant of carnitas, mamachos. Ah, do you live in near to, ah, to, to make Mexicanos? Yes, I live in Mexicanos. Ah, okay. Yes. And there is a... Uh, al... mm -hmm. La Luz del Mundo. Church. 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 There is a church. And there is a park. What what park? Um, What's the name? It's not... Ah, it's your, it's a in park your in town. My, yes. Ah, okay. It's not a, a park famous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, you, Carlita, what places are near oh. your your house Actually, or your have, work? Near... Um, in my house, I uh, near um. There, there is a school. Um, eh, no, there are three, three school. The College of the College of Central America, and the School of San, San Germán. Um, other place near ah. Uh, there is a church in the what do you say colonia town 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 mm -hmm. pero town no es como pueblo mm, maybe it's similar uh, town yes i think it's town mm -hmm. oh, okay come on okay the church the Neighborhood. Ah, ah thank neighborhood. you, teacher. <laughs> this is correct. Ah, uh -huh. Neighborhood. Uh -huh. And the uh, neighborhood uh, 14. Um, 14. Sí, 14. Se llama Colonia 14. Ah, really? Neighborhood <laughs> 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 14. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> um, so their place. Um, oh, the music academy there is third part in in the neighborhood. Okay. I don't I don't know what is the name the park. <laughs> And Gonzalo, what places are near your work? My work? Yeah. Um there is a mall because I I work near Metro Centre, so there is a mall near my work. Uh there are many restaurants like Wendy's, the Pizza Hut. I have also a Mr. There is a Mr. Donut over there. Uh, there is a hardware store like Friends. Um, there are like three schools and what else? Oh, and there is a hospital near my work. What about for you, Javier? What well, you work at home, right? <laughs> yeah. So what? What's what's near your house? Okay, um, in my house, there, there are some 
with department mm -hmm. and there are some streets all right and there isn't a host any any hospital mm -hmm. and, and neither any park <laughs> oh no parks yeah, near uh, your house yeah uh, um, i i live in San Francisco Street. All right. Okay, okay. And what other places are there are near your house? Um near only that but um uh, <clears throat> digamos Uh, in next block? Okay, but no es como block, sino que es más, más allá, no. Uh, you can say close. Okay, close. Mm -hmm. Close my house. Mm -hmm. There is, uh, there is Mercado de Artesanías. All right, uh -huh. And there is Parque de Pelotas. Mm -hmm. And no, not, not, uh, not that close, but mm -hmm. there, there is a Salvador del Mundo too. All right, all right, all right. So, not that close, but no, not too close, not too far, let's say. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, maybe 50. 15 minutes uh, by bus. Oh, that's correct. Not that far, to be honest, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you so much. And what about the rest of the ladies? Did they participate? Ladies, ladies. Yes, I, I participate. <laughs> All right, amazing. Remember to incorporate uh, information about places near your house and places near your work, right? You can talk about that. Oh, if you already participated on this one, uh, you can take some time to ask for other uh, references. For example, what's there in San Salvador downtown, right? I'm downtown. There is a Pollo Bonanza, there is a, a, a market, right? Sagrado Corazón. You express idea, right? You can take other reference because probably you already finished with the reference for your work and the reference for the house. But the idea is to continue working and to continue expressing ideas. Take other point of reference and try to participate and express more ideas. For example, hey, what stores are there in, in La Gran Vía? Ah, there is a, this restaurant. There are some stores. So you can participate, all right? I'll give you, we have like five more minutes. So take advantage of this one and let's continue working hard. Thank you so much, people. Thank you. Okay. Tell me, okay. <laughs> okay. No. What about your work, your, your house, Madeline? Huh? What place are near your work, your house? Um, near near my house, there there is a there is a, a court. Ah. Court. Can't. Do you repeat? Court. <laughs> court is cancha. Yeah. Cool. Oh. Okay. What is? Uh, only only mini mini stores. I live in the <laughs> in the rural. Oh, I got it. Yes. Charge one. Where do you live? Madeline? Hello. 
What? Where do you live? Where do you live? What do you live in? I live in Chalchuapa. And where do you work? I I work in Chalchuapa. Oh, okay. Chalchuapa. <laughs> um, my work is uh uh. Super text, yes. Uh huh. More or less twenty minutes of my house. No, ten minutes. Eh, uh, work is a uh, one thirty minutes. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> what about you, Ines? Hello. What place are near your your work? Uh, there are more or oh, some factories and there is there is a a near Lisma and uh, next to more do you know uh -huh. Yes. La Paz is, is more near the yes, Sonsonate. Mm, yes. Mm -hmm. Is is mm -hmm. near a in car I driving for for forty minutes approx. That's very far. Yes, but uh, when when there are a lot of traffic, I mm -hmm. I am driving for one one hour or or more more time. The chair, when you drive forty minutes, you are fast and furious. Yes. <laughs> Yes. The teacher. When we use we not, it? when we have a question, when we use not, mm -hmm. is we can use any and many or or any. All right. Usually for the negative sentences, we go for any. There isn't any or there aren't any because the word any. It gives you uh the gives you like a negative sense for that we it's better to say any in this in, in this uh in these sentences when they are negative yes because edwin uh give uh, an example and he said uh, many many hospitals i think mm -hmm. Th there is not many hospitals i think it is possible in some cases, right? Because if you say there aren't many hospitals, you are saying that the quantity is reduced, yeah. right? Not zero. If you say there aren't any restaurants, that is zero, nothing. But if you say there aren't some hospitals, in that case, you are saying that there is a limited number, right? A limited number. So in those cases, it could be valid to say some, but depending on the context. Okay. It's clear now. Yeah, it depends on that one, right? If you say, ah, for example, there are, you say there are two hospitals. Oh, you can say, ah, there aren't many hospitals, only two. Ah, that's good, right? But if you are zero hospitals, say, hey, there are, there isn't any hospital. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So that could be the context on, on, on that one. All right, thank you. Thank you so much, people, for your time in the practice. And I know you practiced a lot. So thank you, thank you so much. We'll return at this moment to the main room. Thank you so much.
All right, all right. I see all of you coming, so that's amazing. Thank you, thank you so much. Tell me, how was the practice? Did you participate a lot? Good, yes. All right, thank you, thank you so much. What about the rest of you people? Did you participate? Or not so much, so, so. Hello, hello. Did you participate, people, in the practice? Did you talk to your classmates? Yes, yes. Did you? I practiced with All my right. co-worker. Amazing, amazing. Thank you so much. That was the idea, to participate and to speak as much as possible. Thank you so much. Now, let me give you some feedback uh, on this information. Um, to and let me give you other just a clarification there isn't any uh let's see all right let me give you some feedback on some information, depending on the context, just for you to have a clearer idea and to have a general feedback on this one. Take a look at the first information that we have on screen or, or, or this one. Let me switch back on this part. The first one, we I was listening to some some expressions similar to say, near to, like near to my house, near to my work and something like that. But is this the correct expression to express ideas, people? Or how do we fix it? Because something can be better in this part. How to express this information in a better form? I don't know, maybe next to my house. Next, next to is a, is a possibility. There is no problem. That is other alternative. Let me copy that one here. That is other alternative, depending on between? what. Between? Mm -hmm. Between is other. Thank you. Around? Yeah. In from? Around. Yeah, exactly. In from out. Those are different alternatives to express ideas, as I mentioned, depending on what you want to express, right? Those are other possibilities. Let me help you on something else. When you express ideas like near, you're talking about proximity, but something that is uh, that we can improve in this part is this one. When you say near, it is not necessary to incorporate to, right? You can say, for example, near my house, near my work, right? Like this one, near my house. An expression like this is valid, but it is not recommendable uh, and it is not okay to incorporate other expression like to say, near to my house. Vea que en las preposiciones, cuando las utilizamos, generalmente queremos eh, buscarle el mismo, la misma cantidad de palabras que utilizamos en el español. ¿Por qué le ponemos el tú? Porque tal vez nos, nos imaginamos cerca de mi casa. El de lo queremos poner en inglés y por eso nosotros automáticamente le ponemos near to my house. Pero la preposición es solo near, sin nada más que agregarle. Cuando lo interpretamos en nuestro idioma, ahí sí le ponemos el de, porque es como expresamos, cerca de mi casa, cerca de mi trabajo. But in English, we don't say near to, right? What is the correction, people? How do we say? Near, near, near my, my house. house. Near, near, my, near exactly. my house. Perfect. Only near, that's it. That's the only necessary thing, right? Eliminate to near my house, near my work, you are near me, right? That's fine, amazing. The other one, in this one, quickly, when we have an expression, 
uh, like this one. There isn't any school. The context of this one is to say zero, nothing, right? Negative all the way. There isn't any school, nothing. Check on the other. What is the sentence? Can, can I have your collaboration, people? What's the sentence for the other one? There. There are yes. many schools. Many schools. Many schools. Depending on the context, in this case, we don't know the number, but it is not zero, right? It is not zero in this case. So it depends on what you want to express and you have two alternatives for this. But as I mentioned, if, if the number of elements is zero, you go for any. But you say there are, there are many schools. For example, like a compliment, you say not zero, like a compliment, maybe just one, just to give you an example, right? Si usted utiliza el many en la oración negativa, eh, utilizándolo de este contexto, there aren't many schools, se me está diciendo que no hay muchas, pero quiere decir que por lo menos una o un número reducido sí existe, ¿ok? No hay muchas escuelas, tal vez solo una, tal vez solo dos, solo tres. No le puedo yo decir el número porque no, no se regula bajo, va a decir, ah, tiene, eso lo califica si son dos o si son una. Va de acuerdo a la percepción. Ah, como que yo le diga, there aren't many uh, don pollos in, in Santa Ana, right? No hay muchos don pollos, solo como 25, pero no hay muchos, right? Esa es mi percepción, right? Just to give you a crazy idea, right? But in that case, when you go for many, you are saying that the quantity uh, is not enough, right? Como que no fueran suficientes, o no hay muchos, según su punto de vista, pero sí existe por lo menos uno. Así que depende de lo que usted quiere expresar, así puede utilizar las oraciones. Si no existe nada, 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 nos vamos con el any. There isn't any, right? Zero, nothing. The other, eh, it gives you some alternative or it gives you some idea that there are at least that there is at least at least one or two or a small number of elements. Okay. That was the feedback that I just wanted to give you before we go to bed. And I just want to congratulate you for your effort. You did a nice job today, people, as always. So all I have to tell you is thank you so much for your time in the practice. Now, what time is it, people? Time to leave, right? Time to go. Yes. <laughs> Four past All right. ten. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. No problem. So Time to you. go to bed. Exactly. Thank you so much, people, for your punctuality. And thank you so much for staying in the station. It was nice working with you. Have a good night and see you tomorrow. Good night. Bye. Good night, teacher. Good night, good night, good night everybody. Bye. Good night. Good night, everybody. Bye. Good night. Good night. See you.